Hey guys, um, welcome to this quick tutorial. So let's quickly run down on how to navigate um, the Dexa website on a mobile device. Now this is our website, just go to learnwithdexa.com to visit our website. Now this is the homepage, as you can see. Um, there are different sections of the homepage um, that you need to explore. This is um, this section is for um, reviews. If you want to see our reviews on Trustpilot, what people are saying in real time about Dexa, this is where you find it. Um, these are just some 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 numbers you need to know about and why you need to get into digital skills this is our footer uh, menu where you can easily uh, navigate and see all of the functions so let's um, go over how to create an account on dexa but before we do that uh, let me explain what this section is so this is the the part where you find all the tuition free courses on dexa this apply now uh, to our tuition free courses so when you slide to the left it shows you uh, all of the programs available on the of the dexa um, platform to explore um but for creating an account all you need to do is to click on this menu um the menu item it brings out three different um, menu items and from the three you can see the account and login section the community and about dexa so on the account and login there is create student account and log into your dashboard and um on that community, you would find our Telegram community, Students Review and Trustpilot, and our Facebook community. Then under About Dexa, you find the About section, our blog, our Trustpilot Review, and Tech Fiverr by Dexa. So to create an account, you need to just click on Account slash Login, and then you click on um, you click on um, Create Student Account. So when you click on Create Student Account, it takes you to um, the page where you need to um, begin to create your account. So you fill in your first name, the last name, the username you want, your email address, password, and then confirm your password. After that, you click on register, and then it takes you um, straight up to uh, your dashboard. But before then, it could likely send you an email, um, a link to your email for you to verify your account. So you just go open your email, verify, um, click on that link to verify your account, and then you'll be ready to log into your dashboard. So let's explore logging into your dashboard and through the same process, if you already have an account, just click on log into your dashboard. So it brings up um, the login items. So because of my browser, I wouldn't be seeing um, ads, but you could use, depending on your browser, you could see um, several ads popping up on the screen and it's normal. So you don't, you don't have to click on them if you don't want to. And then so you just um, impute the email and password that you've already um, chosen. So I'm going to log in with my admin account. And um, let's explore what the dashboard looks like. Um, so here is a view of the Dexa dashboard. So mind you, you wouldn't have all of these functions on your account because you're not an admin, um, but you just basically see um, a replica of what I have here. So under enrolled courses, enrolled courses will show you all of the courses you've enrolled on the website. In progress shows you the courses you're currently doing and completed courses shows you um, the courses you've completed. That is just um, um, a, a quick an analytics of your dashboard and then you can click on the next icon which is the courses icon your courses now it shows you a list of all of those courses that you have but now let's go and look at how to actually enroll into a course so you can click on go to home page or you could just type learnwithdexa.com it takes you to our home page and then you click on explore courses explore courses takes you to all of the um, courses that are available on um, the Dexa platform, a list of all the courses, the programs, both tuition free and the paid courses. So this is um, the page where you um, you know get access to the courses we have available. Um, so here you have the virtual assistant course, you have um, project management, you have different courses. Now to explain, um, for a course that is on sale that you've not bought, you would likely see buy now on this red button. But if you've bought the course and you've enrolled, you would see start course, right? And for a free course that you've already also not enrolled into, you'd also see this. Okay, just for example, this is a course. If I if I want to get this course now, I'll, I'll just click on buy now, and it takes me to um, the payment page, right? But for for a free course that I've not started, I would see start course, right? And also for um, for a free course that you've already started, you've already enrolled into, you would see continue. So let's um, start the virtual assistance um, professional certificate course. I'm going to. Yeah, so we are into the course right now. 
uh, this is the first lesson in the course when you click on start course it takes you to the first lesson in the course so now here on this dash on this um, screen you have two options you have um, uh, a button for the drop down menu and then you have the navigation button which is almost not seen if you don't look properly so there's a button here if you look properly you'll see um, a button that looks like an arrow here so you can easily click on it to move to the next lesson right or you can also click on this to move to the previous but for you to just locate lessons um, and not go through the clicks just click on this drop down menu again just click on this the menu you can see here just click on it it brings up all of the modules and lessons you have into in the course and then you can easily just navigate to whichever um lesson it is that you want now one problem people have is when they click on the course um they have an issue that the um you know the, the stuff just rolls and rolls and they don't get to see the lessons but that's not the way it is there's a button here look closely here you will see an x button this button looks like an x an exit button so when you click on it it closes this menu right and unrolls it unrolls it so you can see um the content behind the menu you click the menu it rolls up you click on the x button and the menu closes right so it's as simple as that there is nothing complicated about um um you know finding or sort of seeing the content under the menu so if you, if you encounter that issue remember you only have to click the x sign to roll off the menu and that is how to enroll into a course on dexa so if you have an issue if you still have a um, need for extra clarity please do well to reach out to our, our, our customer assistance center or ask um if you're taking um one of our boot camps you could ask for assistance from your team lead and the team lead will provide you um, expert assistance on how to do that so this is this for mobile view now if you're using a desktop the next video is going to teach you how to um, use the desktop platform on a desktop so let's get right into it hi guys um so here's a quick tutorial on how to navigate the desktop website on um the desktop or if you're using a desktop view um first of all you visit our website learn with dexa.com and this is the home page um, where it's going to bring you to this is the home page um, this section this section is for um, our tuition free boot camps this section is where you see um, our, our metrics the sorry the numbers we've done our reviews and all of that um, so this is basically the home page and this is my humble self <laughs> the founder and CEO of Dexa and um, these are reviews these are some of the numbers you know just random things you need to see on a website as ours and this is the footer section and then so for you to log in or create an account let's explore what the menu is like so this is the first menu account slash login section so here you could easily create a student account or you could log into your dashboard if you already have an account on dexa so the next one is community here you can click to join our telegram community here you can see the students review what people are saying about us on trust pilot and here you can join our facebook community um the last menu is um the about dexa um you could read about us by clicking here you could see one of the projects you're working on by clicking here you could um read our blog or you can still go ahead and keep viewing the reviews on trust pilot so let's talk about um creating an account so when you click here it takes you to the page where you create an account it's a basic stuff so we don't really have to go over that in this um, tutorial so we are going to now explore the dashboard so we're going to log in and see what um, the student dashboard on Dexa looks like so once you're here all you need to these are ads from Google so you don't need to click if you don't want to click right um, so you just scroll all the way down to here so here you have um, register as a student that if you don't have an account you could register as a student or you could just sign in right so we're going to sign in into um an account right now all right so here is um a student dashboard so this is what it looks like so for the dashboard here um this is an overview of your dashboard all of the courses you've enrolled the courses that are in progress and the courses you've completed now to see um okay so if you click on your courses you're going to bring um a list of 
every course you've ever enrolled into now that dashboard tab is to show you an overview you click on your courses it brings a list of all the courses you've ever enrolled for right um so to start any of these courses you just need to click on start course and it takes you into the course but for people who haven't um, ever started a course on dexa let's just um, quickly look at how to do that now you could go to um home page um, click on go to home page right it brings you back to our home page now there are two options on how to see all the courses on dexa let's say you want to enroll for a virtual assistant course a project management course um, you could either click on explore courses it takes you to the page where you see all of the courses that are available on our website or you could just also scroll down here to see all available courses you click on that and yes it brings you all the way to um, um, the list of all the courses we have on Dexter. So this is the virtual assistant course. This is the marketing and sales conversion. This is the HR management course. Now, the, the thing is, if for a course you've not bought, let's say a course that is not a free course, that is a paid course, you would see this buy now button, right? So for a free course that you've not enrolled into, you will see start course. So if you click on start course, it immediately adds this course to your dashboard where you can begin but for a course you want to buy that is on sale you click on buy now it takes you to the payment um, page where you pay and get started so let's but for a course you've enrolled into it shows you continue so these are the basically basically the three things you need to know so let's um do a, a quick start course let's start the human resource management course so you click on start course you're going to take you to your dashboard and add the human resource management course there already now here this is it it has already added the human resource management course right so this is the first lesson of the course typically we always have how to navigate or how to use the dexa website as the first lesson on majority of our courses um to to view okay let's just talk about what these things are this is a drop down menu if you click here it drops down um a menu item for you and then this is your profile you could look at your profile this is the um, you know courses count it shows you how many lessons are left so basically there are um, about 125 lessons left in this um, course okay um, all right so when you click um, here there's a button here this button is mostly um, invisible so you you would need to click this button to move to a next lesson now if you don't want to use that button there's also a, um, another route to use you could click on this drop down menu and then it shows you a list of all the modules just like on the mobile view it shows a list of all the modules and lessons in this course so you can just you know click any of the lessons you want to go to and it takes you immediately to um, that lesson right so this is how it basically works on the dexa website so um, if you have any more questions and yes let me not fail to mention for every course you for every lesson you complete we just mark as completed or mark as complete and then click here to move to the next or you click here <clears throat> to go to a previous lesson there are also some i've talked about these buttons earlier you could use them here you could click here and that is how to navigate the um, platform properly now we've also um, recorded a tutorial on how to do it on mobile so if, if you've not seen the mobile first you could just go back and watch um, the mobile tutorial and then depending on which device you're operating just look at the tutorial and see how you can navigate the dexa website and if you're having a password issue there's always a link we send out for you to you know click on and kind of reset your password or you could Reset your password from the login page, and it's as easy as that. So, thank you very much. If there's any more questions, do to send in your inquiry.